Hey boos, welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina and thank you for joining me today. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are already part of the MDD fam, then hello, how are you? Welcome back, how you doing? Thank you for joining me again today. So today I just wanted to come on here and do a M&M for you guys. I haven't done an M&M in a while, okay? I just wanted to come on here because today I'm just feeling so grateful and I feel grateful every single day but today I just feel so grateful and I wanted to come on here and share with you guys that always keep the faith always keep your eye on the prize always keep your goals in plain sight simply because there are a lot of things in life that could take you off track there's a lot of thoughts. You are your worst critic. And at the end of the day, you can either talk yourself into it or you can talk yourself out of it. And it takes a really strong person and a person who knows what they want in life to reach their dreams and their goals. There are gonna be people in your life who are going to tell you you can't do it, you're not gonna make it, you're not smart enough. They're going to question why you're trying to reach this particular goal and why aren't you doing this or you know why you ain't doing that. Keep your circle small. And another great tip as well is that whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, keep it on the down low. You know, I don't know if you guys know the saying, but never let your you know right hand know what your left hand is doing. Your left hand may interfere with your right. And so then you have this balancing act of not knowing what to do when in the beginning, all you had to do is just let your right hand know, honey, and it's between you and the right hand, and that's it. I'm not saying that there are people in your life who aren't rooting for you, because I'm sure there are. That's why it's good to keep your circle small and to tell people who are really rooting for you and who really want to see you win and succeed. It's good to tell them your dreams. It's good to tell them your goals. But it's also good to have discernment. It's also good to know who's on your side and who is really for you. Because there are a lot of people who can pose and fake like they're for you and they're not for you, honey. They are praying behind your back. They are praying that you fail. They are praying that you fall. They are praying that you're not getting what you want in life. They are praying that your marriage is shit. They are praying that your kids is shit. They are praying that everything is shit for you. So you have to make sure that you stay conscious aware about what's going on in your life who's around you and stay focused on your goals because at the end of the day when you reach your goals you're gonna look back and say wow I remember when I first wrote this goal down or I remember when I doubted myself and I didn't want to continue to go on so I think it's good to you know always stay strong and and always do your best always give 110 percent you know God is going to do what he can for you and it's no question about it he's going to do what he can he wants us to put forth effort he wants us to show that we are willing to give our all that we are willing to put everything in when it comes to what we're trying to do and achieve so I just wanted to come on here today and share that because I'm just so grateful with where I am in my life and what's going on in my life and it's good for me to see how God sets me up for certain things in order to succeed you know like he has the path he has the plan and it's just good to see that play out you know positivity and some positive vibes because there's people out there who don't think they can do it. Like, it's people out there who don't believe and truly don't understand what it means to believe, you know? People who are in a spot right now, they wanna move forward or they want to move on to something else. They don't know what it takes to get to that point. And one thing that I have to say is, you have to be okay with where you are now. You have to be okay with where you are now and you have to be giving it 100%. I don't care what you are doing. You have to be grateful and you have to be willing to work hard at what you're doing now because God isn't going to bless you with better if you're not willing to do better. You know, wherever you're at, if you're cleaning shit all day, okay, that's not where you want to be, but clean that shit with the best of your ability. I mean, you need to do it up, okay? You need to get an award for being the best shit cleaner. Like, I'm not even, I'm not playing. You have to give it your all, you know, you have to do your best and always be grateful because you may not like where you are now but there's somebody who 
wish they were in your spot. There's somebody who wish they had a job. There's somebody who wish they had the means to buy dinner for their family or provide for whoever it may be, girlfriend, boyfriend, children, parents, you know. There's a lot of people out there who wish they had those opportunities. So for any of us to be ungrateful or be unhappy with where we are, that's a problem. You know, when you're not happy with where you are, you're pretty much saying, F you, our power is. Whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, you are saying, I don't believe in your manifestation. I don't believe in what you can do for me. I don't believe in what you can bring to me. And so I'm just going to say F you. You know, that's pretty much what you're saying. And don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with wanting to be better and do better and move up. Like there's nothing wrong with that. That's what life is about. Being better, doing better and becoming a better person. But you also have to be appreciative of where you are. You have to appreciate what you have before you get, you know, more. And I think sometimes people get caught up on, you know, they get caught up on social media. They get caught up on what other people have and how other people are living. But we all have different paths in life. You know, we all have different paths in life. You get me, right? Okay, so I feel like I'm talking too much. So I'm going to cut this Eminem short here and I'll be back with you guys with another one. Trust me. So smooch and booze and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.